Hi, Ken back again with another Foff mail or pair and this one is uh, Ken C's machine and it was it used to be a uh, 220 volt from uh, Europe okay uh, he was having a little problem with it it was slowing down and everything and the, the old board was starting to give off an ozone smell so he sent it to me for repairs and I wanted to show him what I was doing with it. Uh, I put up a test jig. I don't have a motor inside the machine, so I can't use the uh, stopmatic stitch on it right now. So um, let me show Ken how fast it goes through now. Okay, he wanted to see uh, four layers of vinyl. Okay, there's your four layers of vinyl. And I'm going to try to keep my hands out of the way of the meter so you can watch the meter and the meter set up for amps because we were having a problem with the amperage on on the machine so uh, basically I got it in sync for it so here goes the four layers of vinyl okay so that just shot straight through four layers of vinyl. Uh, I also have the 10 ounce canvas, the four layers of 10 ounce canvas, and we'll go through that. Okay, went straight through that. Okay, uh, Ken is a, a kite maker, and he sent me some ripstop nylon uh, that he makes the kites out of. But I last time I did, uh, I think it was Mike's machine. Uh, he was also a kite maker. I went out and bought ripstop nylon. So um, this is 16 layers of my ripstop nylon. All right, and I'll show them goes through that. It's going to ping a little bit, but that's okay. Let's try that again. a little bit faster but there you go rip stop nylon went right through 16 layers so um, you can see that the meter goes up to like one amp or so and uh, if you run it consistently it'll go down to 0 0.98 uh, I think so let me show you my rig that I just made up to test this motor Okay, this is just a little jig that I made up, a temporary jig, it's nothing special. Uh, but it does allow me to run the motor outside of the machine and test the machine out. As you can see, there's no motor inside the machine. There's no circuit board inside the machine. The circuit board's up on top. Alright, this also allows me to see uh, the arcs and stuff coming from the commutator. Uh, and be able to adjust the board and all. Uh, I put a temporary uh, Singer light on there just so that I could have light and make sure that the power was going through it. So, but this is a 1222 SC. Okay. The other board that I made up because some of the things on it, um, I took this out of a TV set just because I had a connector and it had a fuse holder on it and that's all that's on there so I could connect the power up in the fuse holder uh, that's my probe setting so that the um, electricity is actually running through the, my meter and coming back to the board okay there's a cut in the, in the line there and that's an old part from a um, Kenmore sewing machine so anyway 
Uh, but just wanted to let him see that and see how it was working. Okay? So, alright. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.